For problem five, we're told that a manufacturer of jeans has plants in California, Arizona, and Texas. 25 pairs of jeans are randomly selected from the database, and their states are listed here. So the first thing that we want to do is count up and find the frequency of each state. So I'm going to start with Arizona. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from Arizona. Next, I'm going to do California. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine from California. And finally, Texas. When I do Texas, I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once I have those numbers, I want to figure out what proportion each one is. So Arizona is 8 out of 25, California is 9 out of 25, and Texas is 8 out of 25. I'm going to put those in to my calculator to get decimals. When I do 8 divided by 25, I get 0.32. When I do 9 divided by 25, I get 0.36. So, if I wanted to use a protractor and get these to exact, what should they be in a circle? I could multiply by 360. 0.32 times 360 tells me that 0.32 means a 115 degree angle. 0.36 times 360 gives me about a 130 degree angle. Those are both slightly rounded, but basically what that tells me is I'm going to have two pieces that are almost a third of the pie, and then one piece that's just slightly large. So when I go to make my pie chart, I'm going to start out with about three equal slices. Then I'm going to say I want to make one of these just slightly larger than the other, so I'm going to make this slice just slightly larger. Now I'm going to call this slice that's the biggest one, CA, I'm going to write 36% on it. I'm going to call this one, AZ, write 32%, and I'm going to call this one, TX, and write 32%. When I go to create my bar graph, I start by making my axes. I label this axis frequency. I see that everything's either 8 or 9, so I'm going to go by 5s to 10. Then I'm going to label the bars in alphabetical order. AZ, CA, TX. AZ was 8, so it's going to go up to about 8, come over. CA is going to go up just a little bit higher to 9, then come over. And TX is going to go to 8, and come up. So I've now created my pie chart, I've created my bar graph, I have some questions from it. What proportion of the genes are made in Arizona? Well, I actually already did that when I wanted to figure out what the central angle would be. The proportion is the total that fit in the group divided by the total number. So eight of them were from Arizona out of the 25, that gave me a proportion of 0.32. What state provided the most genes or produced the most genes? We have two of them with eight, one of them with nine. Nine's bigger than either of the eights. So California is the one that's produced the largest. How can the chart help you? So they give a really long-winded answer here. Basically, the sector areas correspond. The larger areas have more produced genes. The bars correspond. The higher bars have more produced genes. So how can the chart help you? Compare pie pieces or bars. So basically here I can see CA is the biggest. If I'm trying to answer the question, which one produced the most genes, I look for the biggest section of the pie. Same idea if I'm trying to say which one produced the most genes, I look for the biggest bar in the bar graph. What conclusions can I draw? They were very similar. With California producing slightly more.
Now they did actually give me multiple choice questions here, so let me go and see which one I would choose of their answers. They said for, if you want to find out whether the three plants produced equal number of genes, how can the charts help you? So I would say that the pie chart sector size and the bar height correspond to the number of states that produce genes. For the bottom one, the bars and sectors are almost equal in size, but the choice that I want is the one that tells me that California produced the most. So the pie chart sectors indicate that Arizona, no, that's not true. Um, I hope I didn't count these wrong. I'm going to stop here and just say it went fine.